Hey, good morning guys. Today's video, I want to give you guys some updates on the solar system. Um, after one year of using this solar stuff, we are extremely happy with it. We are extremely happy with the price point. We are extremely happy with its function. We built this solar array, solar shed, wood shed last fall. Uh, 1,000 watts of solar panels, Renogy 100 watt panels. We have 10 of them. They are set up in two strands of five, uh, and then they're joined and go to the solar shed on a single MC4 connector, 10 gauge wire. Uh, the way it's set up, it's only pushing 10 amps to the solar shed, so it's a safe setup. There's only 10 amps going through those MC4 connectors, which is perfectly adequate. Our solar shed, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on prices. Solar panels those were $96 a piece so we got a thousand dollars in solar panels we have eight Renogy AGM sealed lead acid batteries 100 amp hour 12 volt uh, we have them wired in series to make 24 volts so our system is 24 volt those batteries uh, all together were 150 bucks a pop last year eight times you know 150 is $1,200 worth of batteries. I just looked at them in case we wanted to improve the system and add a few batteries. Uh, they're $200 a piece now. Uh, some of you guys might say, why go with old technology? Uh, there's, you know, all the Life PO4 or uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Our cabin here in northern Michigan, it gets down into the digit, single digits and below zero degrees Fahrenheit quite often. And these batteries, as long as they are full and charged adequately, will not freeze until negative um, 50 to negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit uh, in the winter. They do have some shortcomings once the temperature gets colder and they work less effectively or efficiently, but lithium iron phosphate cannot be cold and cannot charge when they're below freezing. So that's why we have this technology. Um, I figured down the road, uh, see if this system works for us. If we need to move some lithium iron phosphate battery banks inside and charge them, uh, so be it. And have a system with that, we can do them improvements. But this is how we're starting. So, so far $1,000 for panels, $1,200 for batteries. We have a EPver uh, 40 amp charge controller. Uh, we'll take up to a thousand watts of solar panels, which we have. That was a two hundred and twenty dollar purchase. That system comes with an MP or NT fifty solar uh, display. It's pretty simple setup. Uh, gives you your array input and your battery status. This is this is a nice little setup. It gives you the simple stuff you need and lets you set your parameters for whatever system you're using. Two hundred and twenty dollars, I believe, that solar charge controllers MPPT. So it's, it has a system. It it kind of figures out what works for you and and it does that. We have a Gandel three thousand watt pure sine wave inverter uh, that turns the battery power twenty four volt into uh, AC for us. That inverter has been good. It's treated us well. The reason we went with such a large inverter was because I wanted to hardwire it, had the option to hardwire it into the cabin uh, rather than just use the 15 amp plugs. So that's why we went with that. That was the smallest size you could get where you hardwire like an entire cabin or a 30 amp type system. And that's what our cabin's set up to. That's all we have, guys. 30 amps uh, run into the cabin. The inverter was a $450 purchase, I believe. We have this DC charger here that we can hook up to a generator. I've never used it. I used it one time last winter when we were leaving for a week and I couldn't maintain the system and the battery bank was going a little low. So I hooked it up so we have it. We have that option, so that's nice. If you are gonna do something where you need to charge it with a uh, generator, often they do have inverters that have charger inverters that have the capabilities of hooking it up to a generator and then it just passes through the inverter and charges the batteries that way. Kind of like pass through charging, I guess. Coming to that price, like I said, uh, 24, let's say 24, 50, 25, $2,900 with the inverter, charge controller, batteries, solar array. Okay. Then we have five, $600 into random breakers. 
I, you know, you need these bus bars over here. You need G GFCI breakers. You need fuses. You need a hundred dollars worth of heavy uh, four gauge. Or this is two watt. I can't remember if this is. I think this is two watt. Two watt cables, all the connectors, stuff like that. We have six, seven hundred dollars into that stuff. So we came out to about thirty six hundred dollars. We worked it out for our entire system. Thirty six hundred dollars. Considering most of the large portable generators have far less than four thousand kilowatt hours, I think we did pretty good. We have about we have about what's equivalent to a Blue Eddy uh, Pro or like an EcoFlow Pro. Uh, same price point, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. But I think we have more kilowatt hours stored and we have a more powerful system. Uh, we went back and forth whether to create a system like this or try to run our system on one of those portable generators. Everything's in one, you know, one thing, which is easy and portable, but they were lithium iron phosphate, which we can't charge in the cold, so we had to leave it inside. So we'd either have to take it with us when we left, or we'd have to make sure it heated up before we could charge it. Now, let's get on to function. Hey guys, one of the most frequently asked questions on our channel and on our videos is how did you find your land? Well, Jen and I spent about four or five years saving up and searching for the perfect off-grid property. It was a lot of work and we really had to buckle down and save up the money. What I wanna do today is share with you a company by the name of Discount Lots. They're a fast growing company and they have land all over the US. They offer land at prices that everybody can afford. You can get your land and put it to great use, build your dream house, dream cabin, uh, start a farming business, open a campground, the, the options are limitless, guys. Discount Lots offers a monthly payment plan so you don't have to come up with a huge lump sum of money at one time. Discount Lots has exclusive off-market listings. The listings they have will not show up on any real estate listings. There's no credit check for renters and no formal underwriting process. The innovative program for buyers allows you to own property outright at the end of the agreement. Discount Lots offers easy payment plans, pay less than $200 per month, and owned your land. Buying land has never been this easy, guys. Go to discountlots.com. The link is in the description box below. Find a property that you'd like, sign an agreement, and you're done. Even better, guys, use our promo code DLJGEN10 and get 10% off the listed price. So I hope this helps you out, guys. Go to discountlots.com. I hope you find your dream property. Uh, our system, we are ecstatic with the way our system works. When you watch a lot of these uh, YouTube channels, you see people installing 20, 30, 40, you know, 20, 30,000 kilowatt hour system battery banks. Uh, and you see them spending 20, 30, 40, 50 grand, which is unattainable for most simple off-gridders. It's, it's a big investment regardless of how much money you have and what your income is. $50,000, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 for a solar system is a lot of money. And there are, uh, you know, improvements and maintenance and stuff like that eventually anyway. So it's not a forever system. It's, you know, batteries, especially lead acids. Those those I'm hoping to get five to ten years out of. Uh, everyone says three to five years, 300 cycles. I've never had lead acid batteries, deep cycle lead acid batteries last less than eight years. On our cabin, we are simple, simple off-grid cabin. We're not running washers and dryers and electric water heaters and all this other crazy stuff. We run lights, fans, ceiling fans, little fans. We charge our uh, phones. We charge the camera gear. We have stuff plugged in all the time. We're not shorting ourselves, but we're not stingy with it anymore. Uh, we have a Magic Chef a uh, 10 cubic foot refrigerator. The cheapest one you could buy at the big box store. That fridge was $330. It's equivalent in size, a 10 cubic foot to some of these fancy off-grid refrigerators. And it was $330 as opposed to the $2,000 bill you get with that. Our theory was we're gonna try to run that 10, uh, 10 cubic foot Magic Chef refrigerator. All runs on AC. All just normal AC stuff, guys, that you could buy and run in your house. This whole cabin set up all on AC. We don't con we convert it from you know the DC from the batteries over to the inverter, and it's just run like a normal house. That refrigerator has been running for 
three, four months now. We've used it as much as we want. It makes ice for us. It keeps our food cold. It does everything we need it to do. $330. Our, our idea was if we were going to spend extra money, we were going to spend it on more batteries and more solar. Uh, that $1,500 goes a long way. $1,500, $1,600, $1,700 that you would spend on one fancy fridge goes a long ways into your solar upgrades. So using this system, using this refrigerator, which is the biggest thing about off-grid, is having refrigeration so you don't have to have coolers, you don't have to waste money even on propane. Like propane's great, propane fridges are great, but you still have to go buy gas. Uh, this is running our refrigerator no issues zero issues we've not had any shortcomings and it's you know we're in northern michigan it's been nice trust me the summertime it's been nice winter time we get lots of sun in the winter time people act like we get no sun uh, as long as we push off our panels and keep the snow off of them and keep the sun on them no problems the only shortcomings we had at all is with this being outside in the winter time you know the batteries get cold so they work less efficiently what i'm going to do this summer before things get out of hand or before things get too cool we're gonna uh, lift up this battery bank and wrap it in either bubble foil or i have this foam underneath i'm gonna pad it and put the foam under around it and we're possibly thinking of getting a couple um, rv water tank heating pads that's what they do with a lot of the new lithium iron phosphate batteries they have little heating pads in the batteries that run off of the power and well, they heat themselves so that's what we're considering doing those are 65 watts each i think if i put two of them in there between the batteries underneath the batteries whatever we have to do insulate them keep the batteries above freezing that'll help a lot so that's going to be the next step and you guys can see us do that this winter or this fall into this winter and see how much better and how much more effective uh, this system works when the batteries are insulated a little bit. So yeah, that's our system We run everything you would want to run or a simple off-grid cabin uh, I don't know if I showed you this guys yet. I don't know which battery which I don't know which video is gonna come out first But we just got this bedroom bedroom edition done if you guys haven't watched uh, the bedroom edition go on go back It's like a three-part series. We're in there now. We're happy. We're gonna work on the inside this winter also we have rain catchment now. We have probably, let's see, 120. We probably have 300 square feet of roof rain that's coming off. We got close to 300 gallons of water there, 275 gallons of water in the last couple weeks. Um, that's going to be our water supply during three months or three seasons out of the year. Winter time, we're going to have to figure that out still. But, uh, you know, we're not running a well pump because we're collecting water. Uh, we can't get a well up here, can't get a truck up here to do well, so we're doing rain catchment. Winter time, four months out of the year, we're probably going to struggle a little bit. We'll figure that out. I wanted to express my excitement because, like I said, you watch all these other off-grid channels and it kind of puts a damper on your dreams and your hopes that you have to spend twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 plus on... A solar system or a solar power system to have an off-grid cabin uh, you don't have to do that guys you know yes you have to cut back you can't you know run I mean we don't watch TV so I don't know how much TV uh, we watch stuff on our laptops whatever but you could do it guys for three to four thousand dollars you can create a system like this and then you could add on to it make some improvements as it goes and that's what i'm sure we'll be doing if i wanted to express my excitement that the dream is alive and uh you could do this and not have to have 30 20 000 plus dollars invested into solar batteries and inverters and all these systems these fancy systems so uh like i said this system is not foolproof it's not the best i'm sure it's not working as effectively and maybe a solar guy would come in here and be like well you could do xyz and have a little bit better efficiency you know that's great uh maybe i'm wasting energy but batteries have not gone below uh 25 volts in months since it's been above freezing so exciting stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this uh I don't know, like I said, right now, I'm, I'm going to make this improvement. I'm going to run this wire and disconnect it from the charge controller and run this wire either up, up high. I don't think I'm going to dig a trench too close to the tree here, so I will never get through the roots. 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna run this PVC conduit or this conduit right here into the solar shed and get this line up out of the way so I don't have to worry about the puppers hitting it every time they run out here chasing squirrels. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. If you wanna hang out with me for a few more minutes and watch me do this project, awesome. Uh, if you guys can like and comment on this video, tell me what you like and what you don't like and uh, maybe you've done something different that I could improve or uh, would be helpful for our subscribers and anyone watching this video to watch. Um, put in the comments down there. People read those. I read them. I comment and respond to almost every comment. I try really hard. And, uh, you know, for two years now, I've almost responded to every comment that's been put on our channel. And, that, you know, I think that's uh, something that you guys deserve is the attention. Uh, for that, you guys give us your support. I support you and appreciate you. So hang out with me for a little bit. Make a comment in the comment section below. And um, I'll try to have Jen put all of the part links and stuff in the description box below too if you want to uh, look at all this stuff. Uh, I bought all this stuff off of Will Pros' website. Um, if you could support either him or use our uh, links below for... Uh, you know, purchasing any of the stuff that here, that, that's greatly appreciated. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for, thanks for watching the video, guys. I, I hope this was helpful in some way. If you have questions, uh, other than just comments, if you have questions, ask them, and I will respond. I promise you. So, uh, let's, let's get going. Let's get this, this wire run before we're in prime part of the day and we lose solar. Not that we need it right now. Like I said, we're at 26.5 volts with a low going into it but we're producing 510 watts right now and it's not even the best part of the day so so yeah let's uh let's get this wire run guys let's see how this lines up guys now those wires run up here and out of the way All right, there we go, guys. I'm gonna put a few clamps on these to hold them in place. Tuck these all under here now, so these are all out of the weather. Even though they're UV protected and fine. Very cool, quick and easy. Doesn't look the best, I mean, it's not. It'd be better if it was underground, but like I said, being right here next to the tree, uh, the roots would just be way too heavy to do that and things needed to still reach so all right 
Everything looks good. Happy, happy. All right, guys, that was a quick little project. Uh, moving that line, like I said, up. I'm going to put a couple clamps on it. They're down at the, the shed, so I'll do those later when I have the clamps up here. So, but Yeah, that was a quick, easy thing. I don't have to worry about the pups running out here and hitting those wires. I should have done that originally, but and when I ran the electrical. Um, so, again, guys, thanks for watching this solar video. If you are new here, and uh, have not watched our journey one we built this awesome cabin which i love i hope you think it's awesome too uh but also we have a little solar playlist there's like three or four videos in there where we started with solar any questions guys put them in the comments below we appreciate you and uh, hopefully we see you on the next one all right bye